Hello everyone. I am Samita Luthra, General Manager Recruitment. BSNL has procured e-office software from NIC and the same has been made operational for BSNL Corporate Office as well as Maharashtra Circle Office. This basic video training on e-office is particularly meant to help navigate new users through e-office. Detailed training videos shall also be shared in the coming days. This one is just a basic to get you familiar and started with e-office. The first step is to log on to e-office. For that, Mozilla Firefox browser has to be used. NIC recommends using of this browser as all application features work best on this. Though this application opens up in any browser, but please use Mozilla so that all features are available to you. If you don't have Mozilla Firefox, kindly download on your laptop or PC. You can just go to google.com, type Mozilla Firefox on that and go to the first link and download. Now here I'll share my screen and we'll start off. So first I'll open up Mozilla Firefox and on the browser I'll type eoffice.bsnl.co.in this gives me the login page. On the login page, type your username. Your usernames have been sent on your registered mobile numbers that have been taken from ERP. In case you do not have your username, kindly send a WhatsApp on 94160-06400 and we'll let you know. Now I'll enter my username over here, which is samita.luthra.bsnl at the rate nic.in I click on the next button it's asking me for my password I'll enter my password here in case you do not remember your password please click on forgot password link that link will take you to another page you will get an OTP follow the menu and you'll be able to reset your password okay now I click next and it'll get me to home page of e-office okay so this is my home page of e-office uh, the main system here is the file management system click on it and you'll be directed to your file page this page typically looks like your gmail inbox there are three main functionalities in this page which is dark receipt then dispatch as well as file creation now in this one I'll mostly tell about file creation and approval that is the most used functionality I'm going to concentrate only on this functionality and in the later videos you'll get to know more details on that so this is how a typical file will look like when it comes to your inbox. So I can see that I have a file in my inbox which has been sent to me by Manoj Kumar Chavla and it has to be it has sent it has been sent on 25th March 2020 to me. I'll open up this file. This is how this file looks. The left is your note sheet part and the right is the correspondence part so this left portion is the note sheet portion and right is the correspondence portion like you typically have in a hard file so now if I go on to the green portion I can see in my note sheet that this note sheet has been sent to me by Kavita Jain DM recruitment and then uh, Samita Luthra has seen this note sheet and put in note 2 on this then note 3 has been by Manoj Kumar Chavla. He hasn't put in any comments. He's just forwarded it to me. On the correspondence side, I can see that a letter is attached and this letter has been referred to in my note sheet. I'll show you as an example. It says pages 1, 2, 3. If I go, I can see those pages 1, 2, 3. Now I can add a green note to this note, give my own note, I'll say please make changes 
to the attached draft and re-put up and then I can send this file back so when I click on send back this screen comes so it the name of the person from whom it had come to me comes over here Manoj Kumar Chavla is coming over here and I simply click on send and the file will go from here so now I'll be able to see this file in my sent folder so in this file I can see that on 25th March 9.56 I have sent it to Manoj Kumar Chavla okay now I'll show you how to create a new file I'm going to create new it'll ask me you know what sort of file headers do I need so I'll say I want BSNL corporate office and it's a recruitment file it's an e-office file and it's a project file so I can give a description e-office file for training and then I say continue working it'll give me this message box that file number will be generated do you wish to proceed I click on OK and I get this sheet so left is my green note sheet and right is my correspondence part I add a green note I say this is the file being created for training purpose I can attach a file with the local references I say upload a file I upload any file and this file comes here so I can open this file to see what's there and this file is going to be attached as my correspondence side I go to send I can now send it to anybody I'll just type the first three letters say I want to send it to director I'll say ARV and the full name comes and I can send it across for training purpose let me send it back to my AGM his name would come Manoj Kumar Chavla I click on send and the file has gone from my side if I go to send folder I can see this file there are a lot of other interesting functionalities in eOffice however this video is limited only to these functionalities so that in a small time you are able to get yourself started with eOffice other videos shall follow soon thank you so much